Welcome to Children's Worship at University Christian Church in Fort Worth, Texas. This time is for grown-ups and kids, but it's mostly for the grown-ups to hear how we talked about our scripture for this week and continue the conversation about Christ's resurrection. We are one week post-Easter. The Easter outfits might not be as pristine as they were on Easter morning. We've lived some life after Easter, but the reality is that we're only in the beginning of living into the hope and grace that Easter brought to us. This is a time in our spiritual lives that it's imperative that we keep the conversation of the hope we find in Jesus going. We see this example in the risen Jesus himself in the Gospel of Luke. In Luke chapter 24, verses 13 through 34, I encourage you to read it, we hear the story of the encounter with Jesus on the road to Emmaus. Two followers of Jesus are walking along and they're going to a place called Emmaus. They're recounting the events that have transpired over the last three days. They're confused and uncertain about the stories they're hearing about Jesus being alive because they know that he had died. A stranger begins walking with them, and Luke tells us that they did not know or recognize the stranger as Jesus. Jesus asks what they're talking about, and they respond, Are you the only one who is clueless about what's transpired? And they tell the stranger all about Jesus and his ministry and his death and resurrection. As they near Emmaus, they beg the stranger to stay and eat with them. Jesus obliges, and as he sits down to eat, he takes some bread, he blesses it and breaks it and gives it to them. And in that moment, the disciples know that it is Jesus. And then Jesus disappears. For children, this passage reminds us of the importance of rituals in our remembering of who Jesus is. It wasn't until Jesus broke bread that they knew him. That's an important part of this story. We are created to learn and remember through doing. Ritual is important. It's important for your kids to maybe even more than it is important for adults that we engage in ritual. The rituals and traditions that begin in our childhood would have great impact on our memory and understanding of faith into the future. Start simple rituals now that will always bring back memories and ideas as they grow. For example, a bedtime routine that includes time for reflection and blessing, a mealtime prayer that has a simple component of holding hands or placing hands together or out, Share a simple communion at mealtime. It doesn't matter what the ritual is, the importance is that you do it repeatedly and connect it to a child's growing faith. Repetition creates meaning. Start a simple ritual in your home and keep doing it and talking about it. This is how we create a faith foundation in the lives of our kids, and it matters. Jesus has risen. Let us remember this and share the grace and hope with our kids every day so that they too can share Christ's love in the world.